Hello, my name is Abdal Magongo. I'm a master's student from Aga Khan University, IED, Dar es Salaam. I'm here today to present to you Form 5 Cytology topic for Tanzanian context. Let's begin with learning outcomes. By the end of this session, the student should be able to define the term enzymes, explain the properties of enzymes, explain mechanisms of, for enzymes action to take place. What is an enzyme? An enzyme is a substance that acts as a biological catalyst in living organisms. They regulate the rate at which chemical reaction proceeds without self being altered. They are involving in different types of reaction in the animal's body and the body of plants, but at the end of the reaction remain in their original shape without changing chemically or physically. Properties of enzymes. They are protein in nature. It means they are made up of protein. Enzymes work by lowering activation energy. Activation energy is the minimum energy needed for the reaction to take place. They are affected by temperature and pH change. When the temperature of the body, for instance, human body, increase above the normal temperature, the enzymes will be denatured. And if the temperature will be lowered, the enzymes will be inactive. They can't work efficiently. The same applies to pH change in the body. Enzymes have active sites where substrates are accommodated. The place in which substrates inserted and new product formed after the reaction to take place. They can be also affected by enzymes and substrate concentration. If you add enzymes in the reaction, the reaction will increase its rate. The same applies to substrate. If you add more substrate in the reaction, the reaction will increase its rate. But when the enzymes active site saturated, no more substrate to be accommodated, the rate of reaction will decrease. They are efficient, but also enzymes work reversibly. Mechanism for enzymes action. There are two mechanisms or theories that explain the mechanism for enzymic reaction. A, the lock and key hypothesis. B, the induced fit hypothesis. Let's start with lock and key theory. A theory explains the mechanism of enzymatic reactions in which it is proposed that the enzymes and substrate bind temporarily to form an enzyme substrate complex. Enzymes have a bind site, a binding site known as active sites. This is an example of enzymes. And this is a binding site known as active site, which is structurally complementary to the substrate. And this is an example of substrate. Thus, enzymes lock and substrate key. So the key is said to fit together with the lock to form enzymes substrate complex like this one. As we can see in the illustration, this is a key substrate and this is lock enzymes. So enzyme substrate complex formed for the reaction to take place. B, the induced fit hypothesis. The induced fit theory assumes that the substrate plays a role determining the final shape of enzymes 
Thus, the enzyme is partially flexible. So the specific substrate is capable of inducing and changing the proper alignment of the active site for it to insert and the reaction to take place. We have two substrates here and enzyme. You can see that the shape of enzymes can't accommodate those two substrates. So the enzymes try to change its shape in order for the substrate to be inserted and the reaction to take place. And this is anabolic type of reaction in which the product is formed instead of being broken down. Mechanism for enzymes action. How enzymes work in the cell? This is running simulation. The blue color and the pink one which are with a comma shape are enzymes which are there to accommodate substrates the yellow color and the orange one are substrate which bind to the active site of enzyme to form enzyme substrate complex for the reaction to take place and this one pink object like an animal is inhibitors the one which inhibit the reaction to take place this is the end of our presentation thank you for your listening have a good day